Hey everyone, and welcome to more Post to Post. Our main channel is Post to Post, where we talk all things hockey. Uh, this channel is, well, basically we talk whatever we want to talk about or do whatever we want, whatever we want to do, taste tests, uh, other sports videos. And speaking of such, we are ranking the NFL logos. There are 32 teams. I have ranked the logos uh, 32 to 1, my least favorite to favorite. Okay. Uh, if you found this video and you're not aware of our main channel, we rank a lot of logos from hockey leagues around the world, North American leagues, uh, European leagues, Russian leagues, all over the world. And it's just a series that we do. We've expanded that series onto this channel as well, and we're tackling the other major professional sports leagues, and uh, this is the NFL. So just a disclaimer, I guess, we are not huge football NFL fans. We don't watch a lot of football here, mainly hockey fans. So uh, there's not a lot of biased opinions here. It's mo I'm, I've just ranked these based on visual appeal alone, basically. Yeah. So uh, uh, if you're a big football fan and your team is near the end or, uh, you know, near last place or 30, 30 second, uh, I, I apologize, but every list is going to be different. It's just subjective. So uh, don't be too upset. So uh, let's start off with number 32, the Chicago Bears. It's just a C. Uh, like, nice C. It's a nice C. Beautiful I C. I love the colors, but it's just a C. Yeah. Could be a little bit better. Uh, that's really the only reason why I ranked it last. Right. 31 is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, really? Yeah, a very iconic logo. Yeah. I appreciate the history. I appreciate uh, what it represents. But it's, I don't know, it just looks like a label off a ginger ale can or something. I don't, it, just doesn't, it just doesn't do it for me. It looks like, and I don't know when the logo debuted or when it was uh, developed, but it looks like Artwork from the late 1960s. Okay, you yeah. know, to me, that's and it's got that kind of disco-y, uh, go-go dancer, <laughs> okay. you know, thing in the background on American Bandstand or something. That's what it looks like to me. I All don't, right, I don't hate it, but uh, you wouldn't rank it this low. Probably not, because it's more than just a C. It is more a than G. just a C. It is. It is. <laughs> You're right. Uh, number 30. Oh, yeah, ow. I know. Ow. The New York Giants. How? Again, it's just an N and a Y. I know it's a stylized Y with the thing going underneath the bottom, but it just doesn't do a lot for me. And, it, and it's a lowercase N. I don't know. I don't hate it. I just don't. It just doesn't speak to me. Sorry, Giants fans. Wow. Number 29. Nice uh, G. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's more than a G because it's in a circle. I guess. Mm -hmm. Very iconic logo. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where I'd place this logo myself. Probably not very high, even though if I were to have a team in the NFL that I cheered for, it would be the Green Bay Packers. And my second team would be the New York Giants. Oh. So for me, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, number 28, Cleveland Browns. Okay. They get points for having a football helmet in their logo. So yeah. thumbs up for that. But I have always hated the Cleveland Browns colors, brown and orange and white, it's just, it's just poopy. I just, I just, I'm sorry, Cleveland, I'm sorry. I'm just not a fan of your colors. But the helmet's great. There's not many other teams in the NFL, if any other teams, that have a helmet as their logo. So thumbs up that. for that, for sure. Yeah. 27, uh, Dallas Cowboys. Man, you're hitting the big ones hard. I know, and I'm going to get a lot of hate. That's fine. I doesn't don't really care. I'm not a football fan, so... They can be as mad as they want at me. It's a very iconic logo, just like a few of the others. I understand there's tremendous history behind it. Dallas, Texas, star, star I, I, I get it, I understand it. State. But it's just a star. Like I'm just mm. basing this on visual appeal alone. There's no historical input gone into this. There's no research gone into this. Visual p appeal alone. So. It's in the eye of the beholder. 26. New York Jets. Oh, <laughs> Who's left to, to poop <laughs> on? Who's left to poop on of all the good? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, so you got the football there. You got a football. You get the, the NY and you get the Jets. I I don't hate this logo. I like this logo. It's just, it looks old, I guess. I've rate, ranked the newer looking logos at the beginning. That's okay. what I've done. Number 25, San Francisco 49ers. Again, it's just an S and an F in a circle. It's not, it's classic, but it's not really... Mm -hmm. New, yeah. creative. 24th, the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, man. <laughs> you like this one, too? Well, I guess I would, yeah. I... Wow. It's just 
I understand it. I, I'm not stupid. I understand what it is. And I understand what it means and what, what it represents. But it's just a, it's a little boring, I think. It's got no text, which is great, though. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a plus. Number 23, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, another very iconic logo. Mm -hmm. uh, but it just it looks old. It looks like it was designed in the 70s, and it probably was. I have no idea. But just don't love it. Number 22, Cincinnati Bengals. I actually do like this logo. I love uh, what they've done here. So, but it's just to be with some colors. You like it? No. No? No. I Sorry, Cincinnati. I... Next, the Oakland Raiders. Ah. I think I may, may have seen this logo. A million times? Like on on T-shirts? On and... everything. It's, yeah, it's just, yeah. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I don't hate it. Uh, it's... I don't know. It just looks like it was drawn by someone in grade 10 or something or photocopied a thousand times over so it's, it's lost its quality or something. It's just, I don't know. That's a really vintage helmet on there, though. It is. Yeah, the old yeah. leather. Uh, it looks like, anyway, the old yeah. leather helmet. Yeah. The uh, Los Angeles Chargers. So I believe they had a different logo at one time, maybe. And this is their newer logo. I don't really know. I'm trying to remember what they had. San Diego days. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but... It's, I mean, it's cool. It's a lightning bolt or a bolt of electricity, chargers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Okay. Number 19, the Washington Redskins. Of all of the Native American logos we see in sports franchises, I do like this one uh, probably more than most. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the little bit of color play on the bottom of the, the feathers there. I, yeah. I really like that a lot. And... Uh, yeah, it's just, it's simple. There's no text. Uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Number 18, New England Patriots. Probably get some hate for this for not being in the top five since it's so such a popular team and so successful. Uh, I really like what it represents. It's it's a smart logo. It's well-designed. I think I've just seen it so much that i just kind of sick of it. Does that make sense? I don't know. I guess it does. I like it. Number 17, the uh, New Orleans Saints. The Fleur de Lis. Yeah, the Fleur de Lis. So we've seen this in the old Quebec Nordiques. Yep. Jerseys back in the day. Yeah. But. The really famous symbol of France. It yeah. is. I'm just not a big fan of that color. It looks like baby poop color or something. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Number 16, the Miami Dolphins. It's. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but it's not very like intimidating. Football is very physical, in your face. You know, rough and tough game, and you've got a dolphin there. Flippers, just, yeah, flippers. he's just flipping around. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Ooh. Number fifteen, the Detroit Lions. I actually like this a lot. It's simple. It kind of has that European hockey mm -hmm. kind of feel to it, but yeah. no text, which I like. I love the colors. It lacks a little bit of detail, mm -hmm. so that's why it's number fifteen. Yeah. Number uh, fourteen, Buffalo Bull, Buffalo Bills, Bills yeah. and then the Bills. Are, they, are they moving? Hope not. That'd be surprising. What am I Buffalo. thinking of then? I'm not sure. I like Buffalo. The Bills have played in Toronto. Like they, you know, they play like one game a year in Toronto instead of Buffalo, trying to build interest. I think in the Southern Ontario market for them. Um, there, there's been talk in the past, but Who's I. Who's moving to L.A.? What? Who's oh, moving to Las Vegas? Is that is that football or baseball or basketball? <laughs> I, I didn't know it was going to be a quiz. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't follow any other sports besides hockey, really. So yeah. I do apologize. It's a it's a cool logo. Yeah, it's not the healthiest team in the league. Um, and I remember Buffalo, you know, ten, fifteen years ago, where they I think they made it to the Super Bowl like three or four times in a row and lost each time. Uh, it was very agonizing, I'm sure, for Buffalo. Yeah, the city has a bit of a curse on it. I think, a bit. Uh, yeah. Throughout the sports. Yeah. Number thirteen, the Arizona Cardinals. So we're starting to get into a little more creative mm -hmm. logos here. It's clearly a cardinal. Uh, no text. He looks angry. It's simple. I like it. Cool. Number 12, the Atlanta Falcons. Again, it's, uh, you know it's a falcon, but it's it's kind of got a, like a modern mm -hmm. feel to it. It's a bit different. Yeah. It's very sharp. That's a terrible word to, to use, but uh, yeah, it's just unique. Yeah. Number 11, the Texas Longhorns. I've always really liked this logo. Uh, it's just it's just simple. You, you know exactly what it is. You get the classic colors there. You get the star from Texas. I like it. Mm -hmm. 
Seattle Seahawks. This, I would say, probably would have been in the top five, maybe 10 or 15 years ago. But it's I've seen it so much over the past 10 years. They've been yeah. really successful for a couple of those years. So uh, I'd had to... I like it. I've just seen it so much that I had to rank it 10th. Number nine, the Los Angeles Rams. like this a lot. I'm not a huge fan of that. that again, that baby poop color kind of streams in there. Uh, but it's... It is simple. It's a, it's a you know it's a ram. It's simple. It's and if there's an animal that symbolizes the game of football or that can be trans transferred to the game of football, it's Absolutely. probably a ram. You know, you put your head down and you're yeah. You've got yeah. opposing sides bumping into each other and then things totally. happen. So that's a good football animal. Yeah, good representation. Yeah, of the sport. Number eight, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, there's a league in or there's a team in the hockey league in Slovakia, I believe. Maybe Czech Republic. Mm, yeah. The logos are very, very, very similar. Yeah. I'm not sure if one stole from the other, mm -hmm. or maybe they are just a little bit different. But uh, I do like this a lot. It's it looks new. It's simple. You get that little bit hint of the B in there for Baltimore. I really like this logo yeah. a lot. Cool. Right? Number seven, Jacksonville Jaguars. I've always loved the colors, the teal and the and the yellow together. Uh, you know, Jaguars are cool looking cats. It's a very mean mm -hmm. logo. It's in your face. I like it. Yep. No complaints. Yeah, I'm down with that. Number six, Carolina Panthers. Yeah. Get that almost a silhouetted panther there. It's very dark and mysterious in a way, but also mm -hmm. very angry. You can get the dead eyes of the, the gray. Uh, I love the colors, just that, that sky blue and the black. Love this logo. Cool. Number five, Tennessee Titans. Always, always, always love this logo. I love the color play and the flames coming off. Uh, just, just always been a huge fan of this. Even though it's got a letter in that, and I've complained about letters and stars, I guess, too. But I like it. Number four, and this is my favorite NFL team, the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, unique colors here, purple and yellow. You're not going to see that really anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But... It's, I mean, like we've talked about this in our other videos on, on Post to Post. Vikings don't really have a lot to do with North America, really, as the same as some leagues in Europe using Native American logos. Mm -hmm. They don't really have anything to do with Europe, so. If there's one saving grace, for, not saving grace, but for Minnesota, there's a lot of Scandinavians. Totally. Denmark, totally. Sweden, that, that have settled in Minnesota. Yep. So I think that's probably some of it, but yeah, the Viking ships themselves didn't go up to the end of Lake Superior and get off in Duluth. <laughs> <laughs> Did not happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it, he looks angry. He looks, you know, he's got the horns or mm -hmm. whatever you want to call those. Uh, I like it. Number three, Ooh. Denver Broncos. Very iconic logo. Very successful team. Mm -hmm. It's a Bronco. He's angry. He's pissed. The colors are great. It's simple. No text. Big thumbs up for this one. Cool. Number two, Philadelphia Eagles. I've never really been a fan of many teams in general from Philadelphia. You know, the Flyers, I've never really been a f big fan of the Flyers. Eagles, never really been a big fan of the Eagles. But I do like this logo. You know, he's, it's, you can tell it's an eagle. He's mean, he's angry, no text. Love the colors. Big fan of this logo. Number one. Uh -huh. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> this is my favorite logo. Really? Yep. You got the football on there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Pirates are cool. So thumbs up for that. The you Jolly get the Roger, really. The the uh, the sword or the whatever you want to call that yeah. saber, whatever sword. That's cool. It's holding the flag. The flag is ripped. It's got that pirate kind of feel to it. Love the colors. Uh, I think this is a tremendous logo. Love it. It's mean. It means business. All right. There you have it. That's uh, my, Those are my NFL logos ranked 32 to 1. Again, totally subjective. I understand if you would have a different list. I would understand um, if you would have a different list. That's kind of the entire point of this is just to have fun. Yep. Uh, there's no right or wrong. Just have fun. So uh, let me know down below in the comments what you think of these logos. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Let me know how you feel. Uh, if you're new to this channel, hope you can hit the subscribe button and grow our second channel here on, most, on more Post to Post. If you like hockey, go check out Post to Post, our main channel. We release a video a day. 
Uh, the season's coming up. You know, we're going to be talking lots of hockey. And even if you don't like hockey, you mm -hmm. might become a liker of hockey. Yeah, even if you don't like hockey and you're looking for more sports to watch, go visit the channel. Yeah. We have tons of content Give dating back an entire year. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful and wonderful, wonderful sport. If you like the physicality of football, you'll love the physicality of hockey because there's fights as well. And who doesn't fights. like a fight? <laughs> so I uh, appreciate yeah. it if you go check that out. And if you like this video, I hope you can hit the like button. That helps us a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Adios.